they're looking rather small too. They were one plus the first time and they're looking like one or weak, more like weak. I hope you can see that they're really, it's really, they're very, very small. See, so I'm gonna call that weak also. So that's very strange. Um, would not have expected to find that the reaction got weaker. So what we have here is uh, this person is being monitored throughout a couple of um, weeks uh, during the pregnancy. They just keep coming back every two to four weeks uh, to monitor the growth of this or the increase of this antibody if possible. Um, so all... All of your IgG antibodies are going to be clinically significant. However, you have um, anti-A, anti-B from blood typing, but also anti-D, anti-little c, and anti-Kel as being the most common ones um, that you'll see that would cause uh, HDFN. And as we were saying, that uh, anti kel which is big K, uh, anti kel which is big K here, is uh, its critical titer is going to be lower than that of the other IgGs because the um, they show up pretty early on the RBC as the fetus is growing. <clears throat> so there may be, if there, if there is hemorrhage of some kind uh, b due to trauma during pregnancy, then the um, fetal blood may go out into uh, the uh, maternal maternal uh, circulation. But also, if it's IgG, um, can cross the placenta, and that. That being the case, there is absolutely the possibility of having HDFN uh, due to clinically significant IgGs, as we were discussing. So um, that is why we're taking a look. The There is no medication to cover baby cells uh, like there is for uh, the anti-D IgG. However, there can be other things that can be, there are other uh, procedures that can be done in order to help the fetus um, to continue to um, be well. So we can do amniocentesis, we can do cordocentesis, um, we can cause a premature birth and aid in uh, the growth of the child, I picked the wrong ones up. These are uh, too high of titers. Sorry, the titer tubes up further along. <laughs> picked up the wrong ones. Um, so we can do intrauterine transfusions uh, to make it so that the um, the affected blood that'll show the anemia and high bilirubin levels and all that, we can take that out to hopefully help continue to allow the fetus to thrive. Um, that way, hopefully, there won't be any brain damage due to carnicterous bilirubin uh, deposition in the brain. So there are a lot of things that um, we can do in order to help uh, the pair as the baby is being developed. All right, so these are looking quite weak as well. This is four and eight. I don't know if you can see that very well. 
So they're, they're weak. There's a couple of uh, bigger clumps in there, but it, it's not throughout. So that's why I'm calling it wink and they're very, very tiny. Okay. This is very similar to what we saw earlier. The um, reactivity did go out further in, those were negative, sorry, um, out further in the second visit, but they're weak, so it's not, um, it's not clinically significant yet. So here, this is what we've got. The first week we had, or sorry, the first visit, prenatal visit, we had um, week all the way down to tighter 32. Okay, but we count the one plus as being the reaction. So none of these were really one plus. And down here, they were all weak in the AHG as well. Although in 37, um, they were two plus, one plus, one plus, then weak. And if you, so if we just went by 37 alone, uh, we had one plus and one plus. So the tighter in the first visit was two. And the tighter in the second visit was four. So in order for it to be a clinically significant um, increase, then you would have uh, to have, see a two tube difference up to level one, and we only see a one tube difference. So they may continue to monitor this, um, this patient in order to uh, see if that increase is continuing. Uh, but currently, since this is just a one tube increase, it's not considered clinically significant yet. All right, so that is the end of the um, antibody uh, prenatal workup. And as we said before, the titer is not the only piece of the uh, testing that's done, but uh, we were coming in as if it was the second time that the patient came in. All right, hope you found that helpful. If you like this video and you want to learn more, please uh, subscribe and hit the notifications button so you'll be notified every time that there's a new video. I'll catch you next time. Bye.